have another Jenga structure here and it's balancing on two, right? But what if I told you that this structure could balance on one leg? Let's see if my center of my stuff works. If we remove it extra carefully. It's looking good. And we add some more blocks to here. Then the center of mass should be offset in just a way that allows it to balance. We move this to the left a little. Bing, bada, boom. Yup, we got the coolest structure here. Now you may be wondering, how does this work? Well, it's all about the center of mass. You see, if we take a single Jenga block, the center of mass would be dead set in the middle. And when it decides to fall over, <laughs> what happens is that center of mass goes over the support area, which ends at this corner, causing it to pivot around in a circle. Now, this can easily be seen if we hang it like this, and that's why pendulums swing instead of just fall. And this structure has a center of mass that has been offset to one side, meaning that the support center went from on all the way of this block or dead set in the middle of the block to the very edge of the block. And this offset of the center of mass allowed for the support center to be shifted to the right and for it to balance beautifully. So, keep on sciencing, y'all.